course, the flavor, current flavor is the G20. And the G20 is about India's position in the world. And what is very important for a country like India is that there is a level playing field and transparency in our economic environment and with regards to the businesses that operate in our country. This morning, two prominent global financial newspapers have raised a very important question. So that's the Financial Times. And you can see right on top, Adani Group, Hidden Investors and a Secret Paper Trail. Here is another one, The Guardian. Modi linked Adani family secretly invested in own shares, documents suggest. And the third one, a wealthy Indian family with links to Modi invested in own shares. Now, these are not any random newspapers. These are newspapers that affect investment in India, they affect the perception of our country in the rest of the world. Now, there are a few questions that they are asking, these newspapers are asking. First of all, they are stating clearly that over a billion dollars of money went from India, was circulated in different places and then came back to India. This is, according to them, clearly proved with documentation that they have. Right? So the question, first question arises, whose money is this? Ye kiska paisa hai? Ye Adani ji ka paisa hai? Ya ye kisi aur ka paisa hai? So that is the first question. Second question, the mastermind behind this is a gentleman called Vinod Adani. He is the brother of Mr. Gautam Adani and there are two other people who are involved in this round tripping of money. One is a gentleman called Nasser Ali, Shaban Ali and another is a Chinese gentleman called Chang Chung Ling. So the second question arises. Why are these two foreign nationals being allowed to play with the valuation of one of the companies that controls almost all of Indian infrastructure? Who are these people? And why are they being allowed to do this? And what is the role of the brother of Mr. Adani in all this? The final point, which is a very interesting point, is that there was an investigation, evidence was given to SEBI and SEBI gave a clean chit to Mr. Adani. And it's very interesting to note that the gentleman, the same gentleman who gave a clean chit to Mr. Adani, uh, is today a director in NDTV. So it is very clear that there is something very wrong here. 